This tape was originally made in Spanish, so <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to translate. <clears throat> this is an explanation of the lens-free uh, double coil. Uh, here we have a, a rotating flywheel with magnets positioned so that we have a horseshoe shape uh, ferrite and it's positioned so that your north and south hit the two legs at the same moment <clears throat> producing a current in your coil okay and this let's say that the the coil is hooked up already to a, a light bulb <clears throat> so uh, what this will do it's going to create a lens force okay like like usual like normal and normally what happens is uh, the lens force tends to to go against the magnets because there's no other way to go you see there's no alternative so um, what we're attempting to do by putting a second uh, horseshoe ferrite horseshoe shaped ferrite behind it is we're going to take advantage of, of, of the lens force that's getting generated uh, and we're going to take it away from the rotating magnets so <clears throat> when when the lens force gets uh, maxed out right here when there's a lot of current <clears throat> you're, you're gonna get your uh, magnetism it's either gonna go to the right or to the left okay it, it has a choice this time uh, before before the second horseshoe uh, we didn't have a choice. It had to go against the magnets. It had no other way out. Okay, but now since we're putting another toroid U-shaped coil ferrite here, it has a choice. It's either going to fight the north or going to go into this empty space. So uh, the laws the laws that govern this is is a, f a flow pattern, uh, just like water. It will t it will tend to go to the path of least resistance. Okay, so here to the left it has maximum resistance, but to the right uh, it has very little resistance because it's an open field. Okay, so uh, your your counter magnetism, in other words, the lens force is not going to go to your left. Uh, rather it's going to choose the path of least resistance which then it goes to your second horseshoe uh, ferrite and you could take advantage of that but because now you can produce more electricity by putting a coil okay so now you take advantage of that lens force and convert it to electricity now you have two coils producing electricity okay but you still you're still going to generate a lens force in the second coil right you're gonna still make a force but again it has a choice you put a third ferrite horseshoe shaped ferrite at the end and you have a choice either uh, your lens force is gonna go against your magnets again or to the right where it's empty now if you were uh, water flow and and <clears throat> and you had to pick which way to go you would go to the empty area to the empty tubes so that's what I'm showing here uh, rather than going back and fighting against each other, it rather takes the easy way out. The easy way, the path of least resistance, will be to the right. Finally, because there's nothing forcing anything here, uh, you get a cancellation of inertias. The north is, is say, clockwise, south, counterclockwise. When the inertias meet in, in, the, in the ferrite, they cancel each other out. So all your generation of electricity never affects your rotating magnets so that's why it's lens free it, uh, your your generator is now acting as a flywheel only only as a flywheel no resistance so that's the explanation in English of this uh, new development this is a big development okay because your generators are now a flywheel that's that's basically what we've turned your generators into a flywheel okay you can still generate electricity but you don't have that back EMF uh, lens current going against you okay that's it